Everybody knows what those couple stanzas, <laughs> a couple notes, <laughs> those couple notes, those couple bars of music entail. Played in, in intensifying succession. But yeah, and faster and quicker. I mean, that was the easiest composition job in the world. It was easy. Who did that one? John Finding Lyman. Nemo. <laughs> Finding Nemo did it. <laughs> John Williams. Uh, oh, pretty sure man. it's John Williams did Jaws. I'm, I'm like 100% sure, but now we got to go double check. Here's all tapping away. <laughs> uh, if you haven't figured it out yet. Yeah, you're right. Boom. Nailed it. If you haven't figured it out yet, today's Ramble On is all about great white sharks. The great whites. The white. Great white. I want to talk about sharks for many reasons. One, I am a huge shark movie fanatic. Love shark movies. They scare the piss out of me, but I do love them. And two, I also care about real life sharks. So this is going to be kind of a interesting self-controversy kind of segment that we're going to do. Uh -oh. But I'm just going to pitch it over to you. Yeah, kill them all. I just want to oh. mention <laughs> the film that triggered all this. Have you seen The Shallows with Blake Lively? I've seen Blake Lively. Blake Lively? <laughs> Am I saying that right? Anyway, <laughs> um, this is a cool movie about a surfer. It's really contained. It's self-contained. It happens all in a little cove. It's very well shot. The CGI is it's one of the best CGI sharks, I think, out there. It's real. It's It, <laughs> it literally bit her leg. Uh, but it's a survival movie combined with a shark movie. Very cool. Go check it out. Um, it's like 128 hours, but with a shark. Kind of actually. Wow. Look at you. Hey, I'm crossing, crossing worlds. Crossing worlds. Combining genres, man. It's, it's, I'm a world builder. I'm a storyteller. <laughs> uh, the Shallows. Go check it out. Blake Lively is solid in it. Um, she's really great. Um, so that's the, I watched that over the weekend again for the second time and uh, had a lot of fun doing it. So I just want to talk about sharks for a second. Yeah. Great whites. I like sharks. Great no, that whites. doesn't work. <laughs> doesn't work. <laughs> I like shark. No. I, even the second time I tried it, it was just, <laughs> even, I was going into it knowing it was bad. Didn't even finish it the second yeah. time you tried. So, yeah, I'm opening it up to the group. Sharks, great. Let's let's just, there's so many different types of blah, blah, blah. Let's just stick with great whites. Yeah. How big do great whites get? I'm going to look that up. What big. You guys. Have you never watched Shark Week? I have, but I don't have the information ready. <laughs> wow, the intern with the opening <laughs> <Yeah>. volley wounded <laughs> Luke. Ah, <laughs> got the harpoon. <laughs> the harpoon. <laughs> I'll go get the coffee. I'm sorry. <laughs> There's we'll, a harpoon. We'll, we'll mute him. It won't happen again. We apologize. <laughs> yeah, you keep him in check, <laughs> DJ KL and NLP. You better watch out. 15 to 21 feet for an adult. That's huge. That's half of this yeah, uh, studio basement. Bigger than, <laughs> bigger than the whole hexapod. Isn't that terrifying when you think about it? And yeah. When you do the visual in your brain, you. Whoo. That's That's a lot. Mass. 1,200 to 2,400 pounds. That's a ton. One to, yeah, one to two ton. Half ton to one ton. Oh, half to, half to yeah. one ton. That is... Thank you. That is <laughs> not as massive. Saving. I don't know, like, conversion of how many, like, grams that is. <laughs> like, at least seven grams. What's the uh, average amount of teeth that a full-grown <sighs> great white size. will have? This is just going to be me Googling things. <laughs> So, so I mean, let sorry, me web searching. narrow it <laughs> in. Got what it. do you think about sharks? Like, not we we know them. Everybody knows what they are. But what do you think about them? We need them. They're the apex okay. predators of the ocean. Both the hierarchy okay. of they're like the lions of the ocean. It's a good comparison. They're, they're going to make a uh, a movie called uh, Shark King. Nah, it doesn't work. <laughs> it doesn't work. <laughs> Uh, keep going. You'll find one. Approximately 50 teeth, though, these suckers have. But they constantly rotate, right? Constantly, they yeah. They just it's got rows. It's like the conveyor belts of teeth like <laughs> coming up. <laughs> I always thought about that. Imagine making them. And, like, what is the process in that phase? Yeah, like, little little shark, like, a little elf shark teeth, like, yeah. you know, just, like, working away in the workshop, making teeth. The Osmosis <laughs> Jones version of <laughs> sharks. <laughs> Oh, we got another order in a bit. Big feeding frenzy last night. <laughs> They're all just automatically Australian. Yeah. <laughs> it's Australian elves. <laughs> well, I, I have seen Finding Nemo, Zach. So, yeah. Bruce. Brucey. Hello, Bruce. <laughs> Good eye, Bruce. Good eye. I, I, am, I am in reverence and in fear of sharks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which is totally Respect. plausible. So, to so totally allowed to, to like them and be terrified of them. Yes. But... We are facing a shark crisis. 
We are facing one. It gets worse every day. The Sharknados? <laughs> the Sharknados of the world. They actually help. They, 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 they bring awareness to the issues. The revenge. Um, but no, we are facing a crisis with sharks, which in turn is a crisis for our oceans. Because like you said, them being the, the top of the food chain, there's a trickle-down effect all the way through. Yep. I was reading about it. If you don't have sharks, you have less predators for rays. And rays eat mollusks and crustaceans and little things in the water. So if their population goes unchecked, then they start to compress the food chain beneath them mm -hmm. by just eating more stuff. So it's kind of wild. And the biggest the biggest reason why we are seeing massive drops, 60 to 70% in populations of sharks worldwide smokes. is because of shark finning. And that's where they take the shark. They either Sometimes they catch them in nets like fishermen. They're not out there fishing for sharks. They're just fishing. And it'll come up in the net, and they will just cut off the dorsal fin of the shark, and then they'll just like kick the rest of the shark back in the ocean because they the the whole part of the shark is not as valuable. The salt just cauterizes the wound. <laughs> yeah, and they just they're <laughs> torpedo. They're more streamlined. Yeah. Actually, what really happens to the shark is that they thrash around because they can't balance. Oh, they're upside down, inside out, and they're bleeding to death. And so, one, it's pretty inhumane. Yeah. But two, it's a complete waste. Um, I would understand if you're a shark fisherman, you're bringing it in, and it's a combination of using the whole animal. Mm -hmm. But the crazy part is, for a fin on a shark is like one to five percent of the whole body, and it's worth like five hundred dollars USD for a single shark fin. Wow! And the rest of the body is worth probably you know is less than a hundred altogether. Oh Jesus! So unfortunately, you have you do have some people who are illegally out there just fishing sharks. Um, but there's a big problem because unfortunately they're not like a fluffy bunny or a cute little, you know, vaquita dolphin where people get on board because they're mad about a cute animal being clubbed and destroyed. Yeah. They are afraid. So they're kind of like, good. Well, they deserve it. Yeah. <laughs> they bite me. We bite them back. Yeah. But the ocean's not our territory. It's really not. <laughs> we have no, no. Some people still have that mentality that. You know, we're human beings. We rule the oceans. We rule the land. So we got flex. Gotta we got flex. muscles. Let's flex them. We got brains. Sharks yeah. did nothing to you, man. You don't know. <laughs> the funny thing is, you got to beat them on their own territory. Because if you're in the water trying to <laughs> fin a shark, mm -hmm. <laughs> that should be that Boom. should be the rule. It should That's be a the game rule. Show like, yeah. all right, you want to be a shark finner? Cool. Well, here's your harpoon, <laughs> yeah. and you have you no go. fins and a speedo, and you got to <laughs> yeah. out shark in a, a machete. Shark. I like that idea. Yeah. Let's just make that about poaching in general. Yeah, yeah. you got to do it with your bare yeah. hands. You got to do it with your bare hands. And like a six-inch knife maximum. You got to Hercules them. Yeah. yeah. I, I like your idea there, Zach. It's, it's about just every poacher. I mean, poachers are breaking the rules anyway, but if you want to be a hunter or you get fined, like you should have to go hunt the animal, or an equivalent animal, with like nothing. And be yeah. like, bare How's hands. it feel? Yeah, no How's projectiles. Yeah, yeah, no projectiles, exactly. I mean, you read those stories that, you know, like people go out and poach like elephants and lions, and then guess what? They end up getting mauled by one. So, I mean, yeah, it's why justice. Why, yeah, why can't that happen with sharks? <laughs> instant karma. So, instant karma. So, just to wrap it up, to the funniest part of this is shark. So, the fins are, are acquired for shark fin soup. Mm, delicious. P like, pretty much exclusively. Shark fin soup has almost no value from a health or nutrition standpoint hmm. it's just they boil it down the cartilage and the fin kind of boils out and you eat it in some cases it's actually poisonous because yeah. what you were saying luke about the shark being at the apex of the food chain all of the micro sorry i'm just like really liquefied today. <laughs> All of the all of the micro uh, poisons that are out there, the mercury, the the little contaminants that fish get from bottom feeding, and then they get eaten by bigger fish, and that bigger fish goes up and eventually gets eaten by a shark. Uh, they are accumulating all of that in their in their bodies, uh, the sharks, hmm. and it's just kind of amassing. So when you eat a shark fin soup as a human, you're actually potentially poisoning yourself. Uh, which is ridiculous. That's where they store it. <laughs> this is where they store the toxins <laughs> in the fin. Well, yeah. Well, they call them tox fins. Tox fins. <laughs> well, Defense heard, mechanism. I heard that like sh shark fin soup is more of like a status thing that like if mm. you go out and you have it in these places that it's, you know, you're showing you have wealth and that idea that, well, I'm the apex predator. 
because I've eaten the apex predator. So it's a lot of it is just status. Like you said, there's no yeah. nutritional value to it. It's, I mean, more or less deadly to, to actually eat it. Well, that's, that's exactly that's right. what I was thinking when you're saying that is, you know, all these like rabbit and chickens, they've over the years, they've developed a, such a good taste. <laughs> But yeah. sharks, no one's ever eaten sharks, so they de- developed a bad taste. It is a good point. <laughs> or never developed a good taste, I guess. Yeah. Um, but the other thing is, like you were mentioning, chickens and rabbits, they, other animals that we eat and consume, they populate at a much higher rate than sharks. Yep. We've never, we don't really even know how sharks do it. We don't know how great whites have done it. It's never been documented. Really? So, like, their population is so at risk because it's kind of like elephants and rhinos, a very high gestation period and a very low um, kind of pregnancy rate. So it's it's a big problem. Um, there's people out there who are trying to change it. There are countries that are getting on board with kind of stopping this because they understand that it's a reverberating impact on the environment. And there's people out there. Ocean Ramsey is somebody who's really cool. She lives out in Hawaii and she studies sharks. And you've, pro- you've probably seen her videos where she she's swimming with great whites, free swimming. And she's actually on record with swing, swimming with one of the biggest great white sharks ever recorded. And she's like, we did it because you could tell that the shark had just eaten and was very sluggish. And so she's in the water. And there's shots of her like um, horizontally above it and it uh, horizontally abo- uh, below her. And you just see how small she is compared to this thing. And it's cool because she's creating awareness for these issues and showing that you can actually control sharks with different techniques of touch and steering them. Hmm. And it's typically the people who are just swimming away and thrashing yeah. that the shark is just curious or whatever. But if you're in the water, it, it takes an immense amount yeah, like she's, of balls. She's saying the sharks just ate. Well, she probably just took a shit before she went <laughs> in. Yeah, that would yeah. be some, some dirty yeah. water real yeah, quick. Yeah. <laughs> But you can actually divert a shark. It's better to divert a shark, and it'll like leave you alone. You say, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. It's, <laughs> no, 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 no. it's like a dog sniffing yeah. your balls. It's just yeah. like, no, 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 no. You know, I have, a, I have a good. I was reading a good fact that um, what you're supposed to do if you're ever encountering like a shark in the water is you're supposed to actually like go underneath the water and kind of. I mean, you want to watch where where it's kind of coming from, and um, I'm trying to remember which where I read the article, but it's. Not necessarily stand your ground, but try to stay calm. Yeah. And definitely don't thrash and be above water because that's where a lot of the mistaken identity for like seals and, you know, I'm not sure what else they they eat, but I know that's where some of those attacks kind of come from. They did call me seal in high school, so I guess I might look like. Why? No, I'm just. (laughs) (laughs) So with sharks, you're exactly right, Zach. And stand as tall as you can. Don't move or curl up into a little ball. <laughs> Let yourself sink down 30 leagues or whatever. Uh, sucked up by a giant squid. <laughs> the thing is when you're thrashing, they see you as a wounded animal, which is one of their predominant prey. It's big fish that are w- wounded and kind of dying or other sharks that are dying. So as soon as you start thrashing around, that's what they, they see you as. So um, some tips to survive if you're ever in the water with a shark. I don't know how much it's going to help you with a great white, <laughs> but... Okay. Enjoy shark movies responsibly. Know that it is fun to watch Blake Lively in a bikini survive for two hours, but it is also a reminder that they are they are creatures that deserve to to have their their lives. Um, and you know, I like tasting food. I like trying new things. But for me in my life, I would never do it just because I know that's kind of fueling. Um, fueling this kind of insane destruction of our ecosystem f- for whatever. I- I'd rather the price of shark fin soup go way up higher and it'd be like throttled how much is allowed than for it to just become. But then you have kind of an inver- or a cyclical problem of well, the higher the price, yeah. the more people are going to go hunting for shark fin soup yeah. to get into that market. Jeez. And I was wrong. $500, $500 a pound. Oh, Oh, yeah. <laughs> let's get into all right. Screw whatever you just said. Let's get yeah. into the business. Let's get into the business. Anything to make a buck. So that's that was my thing. I just wanted to talk about sharks a little bit today. So thank you for rambling on with me and, and thank you for your input, Zach. I'm glad you were here. Had a lot of good, good, uh, good things yeah. that, that you knew. It was brilliant.